Hello, this is Tina and uh, welcome to another layout. I'm going to scrap with some of the papers that I have uh, had a bit difficulty, uh, but I think it's uh, it went quite all right. I'm very happy about the layout and uh, the outcome of, of the layout. layout. Um, I don't use any photos in this layout, uh, but I've used this uh, paper from uh, my mind's eye uh, with the cut it's for it's called it's called it's called <laughs> hello the world and travel uh, world map I'm going to cut out uh, most of Europe and uh, the Nordic countries like Norway and Sweden and uh, I am uh, going to make a border with uh, this washi tape from um, my mind's eye. It's a decorative tape 2, coral and aqua. Um, and I actually began by thinking, hey, can I make a background with uh, these washies? Um <coughs> and then I got to think some more and then, yeah, one th thing led to another. And then I thought, hey, this was you with the arrows. I can make some arrows and point them to the places where we have traveled. But it didn't show up too well with just the washi, so I backed it up on some white cardstock from, uh, I think actually it's from American Crafts. And uh, I put the washi on the cardstock and then I just cut around the cut out the arrows and uh, there are different kinds of arrows, small one, big one, skinny ones, so on. Just all kind of different washes. And now my cat wants to say hi. Her name is Nuga. And she's a black cat, who a black brown cat with some white on her neck. She is, what are you, six years old? Yeah, you are cutie. Yeah, you are cutie. And she also helps me scrap and wants to snuggle and she's just so lovely. And then she just wanted to say hi. Does all of our scrappy people have cats or dogs or something like that? <laughs> Well, I've also got chicken, chickens, uh, 13 at the matter of the fact, so, um, and I'm not living on a farm. I'm living in an ordinary house, in an ordinary street, in a very small town. I don't know if it's the smallest in the country, but we definitely have the smallest, uh, what's it called? Mm. Gross grocery shop. It is very very small. <laughs> now um, back to the layout. I have uh, cut the arrows out and I'm going to place them where we have been and of course also in Denmark where we live. <coughs> we live in an uh, outside uh, a large city called Ranas. Such a cutie. Yeah, you're a cutie. Are they so sweet? Yeah, you are a ninja. Yeah, cutie cat. Sorry, my, my cat again. <coughs> and I'm going to glue them down. I just. Before I backed my. Um, I made a photo map for my paper, my picture in this case. Uh, just some white coast cardstock from uh, American Crafts uh, and I glue and I glue and I glue and it's so exciting to watch right <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's uh, it's late night and then uh, yeah it's obviously the time when I'm doing voiceovers so 
I think I'm a bit tired. Perhaps I should get, no, I'm not getting some coffee because then I can't sleep. And that's not good. Tomorrow we are going to help my mother-in-law by getting some stuff to the junkyard. So I have to be awake and fresh and so on. <laughs> now, um, the washi with the arrows or the chevrons or... Yeah. Um, I thought, yeah, that could work on uh, the background even though that this is busy. Then uh, it's, it's okay and uh, it uh, represents that uh, going places, the arrows is going somewhere. Um, and I'm going to make a, <coughs> sorry, uh, a photo block kind of a thing uh, with the strips at the washi. And uh, as you all know, you don't have to use a long stri strip to go all the way back. You can just use smaller strips to put behind your pictures. <laughs> It's a bit of cheat, but that's uh, that's how it goes, right? <laughs> and I'm not just going to use the uh, the Chevron uh <coughs> washi. I'm also going to use the one with the the white with the red dots and the um, the white washi with the oh, I don't know red and blue patterns of them some kind I don't know what and that's our son my youngest son he's almost five and he has drawn how you brush your teeth and uh, he has also written B-E-N for Ben he's called Benjamin um, he's very very tal talented at, uh, at drawing so we uh, encourage him to uh, draw and paint and do all those things um so he can get better and uh, he do it a lot he often <coughs> draw several hours a day <laughs> he's very fond of it oh yeah i'm also using this uh, red washi with uh, a pattern some kind of a um, pattern on it it's cute and i think it goes well and i'm going to Am I going to? Yes, I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape, the picture. And I just think I'm going to look for another roll because I just ran out. Yeah, foam tape. I don't have the big one from, uh, is it 3M or something? I don't think you can get it in Denmark, but uh <coughs> I have to manage with the small ones then. <laughs> If anyone know where I can get it in Denmark or in Europe, they are welcome to write to me. <laughs> well now I'm going to use these uh, Amy Ted Green stickers, uh, stickers called Karl Bar Barteski, 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 in uh, in black. I really love these. Uh, I think they're such a whimsical, funny font to use. Um, I'm going to um, make my title a quote from um, a famous Danish uh, author, uh, Hans Christian Andersen. Um, he had once said, to travel is to live, so that I'm going to spell out, uh, but in Danish. And it's in Danish, Danish? <laughs> Sorry, in Danish it's called at reise er at leve. <coughs> and I think it fits fits the layout uh, pretty well. To travel is to is to live. And um, I haven't been to the States or but perhaps I'll be there someday. I would like to. Um, it ain't in the cards right now, but perhaps someday. Uh, the f longest I've been away, it's uh, Portugal or uh, South Spain, uh, and that's some years ago. We uh, quite enjoy uh, having our vacation in the, the northern Italy, where it's um, it's warm but not too warm. 
Uh, this year we're going to have a vacation at home in Denmark. Uh, perhaps we're going camping uh, some few days, a uh, short weekend or some. Um, otherwise we are going to take some day trips with our kids and uh, go to the zoo or to uh, yeah, fun fairs and go swimming and <laughs> so on. We just have to watch the weather and uh, s yeah, see what it's how it's going to behave the weather. Uh, I don't think it's going to be s quite good. We have had a, a small week, I think, of uh, summer with summer weather, uh, but uh, it's over now and um <laughs> it almost feels like fall. It's very cold, it's windy. Um, we can be lucky that there will be some days with a bit warm weather, but uh, most days it's unfortunately it's very it's it's cold and and windy. Our last summer was perfect, perfect, perfect. It was summer, it was hot, it was hot for such a long time. and it was so nice. I'm best, best with the summer and hot weather. Uh, now here I'm going to cut out the other side of the m of the map card had these uh, globe-like circles, so I'm going to cut them out with my Martha Stewart cutting edge. Is that right? Simple circle cutter. Sorry, simple circle cutter from Martha Stewart. And I think I'm going to cut out most of them and use them on uh, the layout. Yeah, I've cut them all out. I just cut that out of the... <coughs> so you didn't, didn't have to, to watch me cut all of them. And now I'm just going to place them and um, see where they... They look nice and where I feel they, they should go and uh, it's actually went quite easy. I just have to remember to turn some of them right because it says North Pole and South Pole and uh, it should be correct. So, <laughs> But I think they're just going to blend in a bit. Uh, so I'm going to use a Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Fight Brick just to ink around the, go around the edges and um, so they stand out some more from, from the paper and they, they get a bit more definition. I just had to be sure that uh, the circle in um, the corner of the picture, uh, that it didn't turn upside, it was turned upside down, but uh, it wasn't, it was the globe seen from north, I think. So it could turn the way that Actually, I think it turned right, but it's just uh, <laughs> where I'm living. So uh, that's quite all right. I can see on my layout now. So yay. <coughs> and uh, some of the odd cuts, off, <laughs> off cuts <laughs> of the circles hanging over the, the paper, I'm going to use some other places uh, in the layout. Um, so I get a good use of these circles, and I think it's I'm pretty. Uh, satisfied with this layout. Uh, I uh, didn't think that I <laughs> could come up with something to do with these papers, but uh, I think it's quite all right. Now, as you'll see at, at the end, I haven't uh, made any journaling. I can't decide uh, to do it or not to do it. <coughs> And if I do it, I don't know how much I'm going to write. I um, have thought about writing the year of and then the place where we were in Portugal or in Paris and, and so on. And I've been to Paris uh, three times, so, so I have to write the year three times. So I don't know. Have you got any ideas? Then uh, please write them down below and uh, I can take them into consideration. Um, 
I thought if I were going to journal, I would go to journal in the globes around, perhaps uh, making a dotted line so I could write them all around. Perhaps uh, if I do that, write a bit of a journal about the different places, uh, but uh, I don't think I have enough globes uh, space to do that. Um, I think at some time I'm going to make a layout about all of the places we have been, or I have been, or my husband have been. Um, I don't know, <coughs> but uh, until then, it is just going to be a layout with the uh, the map over Europe and uh, the arrows and uh, the and my title. And I actually like it very much. It's very simple and yet. Uh, it was fairly easy to put together, um, so yay! <laughs> that was a nice thing, and I think background paper is so appropriate. Uh, buses and taxis and airplanes and bicycles and hot air balloons and cars and all kinds of transportation and uh, it's about traveling. It's about uh, going seeing the world, or Europe in this <laughs> case. Um, it's about enjoying life and remember that uh, to travel is to live, so yeah, I'm very happy about it. I am almost done gluing <coughs> my circles down and then I'm soon done with my layout. I hope you, you liked it and yet again my rambling. <laughs> <laughs> you got to meet my cat, Nuga. Now, if you like to see more, I hope so you do. Well, uh, I hope you do. Then uh, please come back, give me a thumbs up, um, subscribe, leave a message. I would love would love to hear from you. And uh, have I said that this? Uh, but uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and um, you'll see more of uh, my layouts and. Uh, my rambling, <laughs> my cat perhaps, my chickens, I don't know, perhaps in a layout or perhaps I can uh, bring on uh, one of my chicks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm wondering if I'm going to write here, but um, no, I'm going to leave it and then I'm going to show you some uh, close-ups of the layout. layout. Um, have a nice time, see you in a bit. Bye!